go for it. Hi, so we're a church, and the pastor calls up all the younger children, you know, under, under probably 10 years old. And uh, this little boy walks up to me, and his dad asks me to pray for him. And as I'm praying, like three seconds into it, um, I feel him start to go back. And so, you know, little kid, I just kind of lay him down with one hand. And he's laying there for, a, you know, a good couple minutes, and we finish praying for the rest of the kids. And um, actually, two nights ago, I was laying in bed praying, you know, God, thank you for letting me come on this trip. But I really hadn't seen anything you know, above the rest. And I asked, you know, I really want to see a pure little kid just get slain in the spirit. And so, you know, prayers do come true. Um, awesome. But so he gets up and just walks away a couple minutes later. So I grab a translator, and I was like, I want to know what happened to this kid. And um, she walks over to him and just immediately starts to cry. And as she's listening to him, um, we get words out of her later, but he saw Satan coming at him as he was laying down, trying to kill him. And then he said Jesus came up from behind him and just killed Satan right in front wow. of him. And then he picked up the little boy and held him in his arms. And, uh, when, when he was on the, on the floor, on the yeah, in the spirit. when wow. he was on the floor. And then, uh, and then I prayed for him a second time. Um, probably half an hour later before we were about to leave, 15 seconds, fell right back down. And uh, by this time there was a crowd of people around and, you know, the translator just starts bawling her eyes out again for the second time. And so, uh, so we have to get another translator actually, because she's over in the corner crying and just trying, we're trying to get English words out of her. And so we grab another translator and she says, he said he saw a big, taller than me, ugly as can be, just a scary man, whatever you can imagine, scary man, coming at him, trying to kill him again. And Jesus just comes up from behind him and cuts him down right in front of him and then just scoops him up again. And we asked his dad if there's been any problems with him. And he said, yeah, he doesn't sleep at night because he's too scared to go to bed. And so we were like, I'm pretty sure he's going to sleep pretty good tonight. Awesome. So, awesome. Good stuff. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks. Mm -hmm.